Holy, look at the wide turn. That is because of the uh, Y Max. After I installed the Y Max, it turns so wide. <laughs> See, look at the <laughs> the turning radius right now because of the Y Max. <laughs> look at the turning radius. This is ridiculous. So um, after you install the Y Max, you expect your truck to be a jumper, not a well. You can still race with it, but look at the wide turning radius right now. Do you believe that how wide it turned right now? <laughs> look at how wide it turned. See, look at this. That is so wide. After the after I installed the Y Max. Yeah, that's those uh those grass are very thick over there. Ah, uh, see how wide this uh Max turn right now. Oh yeah, can this Max do really right now on the grass? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it can do really on the grass. Oh, let's do really right here. Oh, don't hit anything. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh boy. I don't want to overheat the <laughs> the system right now. <laughs> That's why I'm uh, running it so slow. Right? <laughs> Yeah, you can hold really until you die uh, until whatever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I cannot pick it up. Yeah, I cannot pick it up. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, one more really. Wow! <laughs> Don't come towards me. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, the brake is still not that good, seems like. Yeah, seems like the brake is not that, not that strong. I better turn it up again. I did turn up a little bit. Yeah, but the power is on 5, so it's the highest. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have more power than my brake, damn it. Yep, I have more power, like uh, more uh, punch than my brake right now. Damn it! <laughs> I yep, I cannot do it. <laughs> That's more punch than my brake. Damn it! <laughs> I've to control it very carefully. Oh uh oh! Uh, That's what happened. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> so so hard to control. <laughs> yeah, I better turn down the punch and uh, turn up the brake. I have more punch. Ow! Uh oh, yeah, I have more punch than uh, brake right now, so I better be careful. Ah! <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I don't want to do a big flip right now, because, uh, yeah. Oh man, it's so hard to control like this. Yeah, the staring knuckle, I mean, uh, yeah, the staring knuckle. Yeah, the staring knuckle just uh, back out on me. Yeah, I think uh, when I go home, I, I have a lot of adjustment to do. 
Yeah, I better turn my punch back to a uh, back down to four. Yep, because uh, seems like it's not right. The power is way more than my my break. Yeah, it's harder to control like this. Wow. Just let me recheck this. I'm not jumping that good on that one. Let me uh, pull this backward. See, look at that uh, silver thing. Yeah, that silver color uh, uh, pin holder. It's GPM. So I make this part stronger, but I make my uh, steering hub uh, uh, not as strong now. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the wheel. See, what happened is uh, that one just popped out the screw from the screw. Right, and now this one, I don't know, uh, let me turn this, can you guys see that pin? It pop out, because uh, this uh, area is uh, tighter now, and it's no, uh, that's no facts, right? And what happened is, it make my hub, uh, steering hub, pop out. I don't know if you guys can see, I hope you guys can see it. So I have got another problem again after I install that GPM uh, pin holder. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I I don't know should I do this out here again, one more time before uh, wow well, and uh, run it one more time. But every jump it will do that probably. See, look at the other side is okay, but I just fix that side. So uh, let's go back to my car and let me fix this quick. And probably do a little bit more jump. Look at the turning radius. I just hate this. Yeah, the turning radius. Ugh. Yeah, I don't want to mention this all the time, but come on, man. You, it seems like you cannot turn or something after you install the Y Max or something. Uh oh, can see it. Where is it? Oh, okay, it's going to rain. <laughs> it's coming down. I can feel it. Okay, let's finish this. Do those tiny drum. Holy! Look at the Y Max. It's like after I turn, I put on the Y Max. It just turned like so wide. Yeah, it's just low jump. Come on, man. Today is just a test, so I don't want to break anything. I almost think that I was uh, breaking something when I was uh, I, I pop out that uh, uh, steering hub. <laughs> ah, look at the turning radius. I don't want to mention this over and over again, but. Um, yeah, if you install the Y Max, expect that your turning radius is less than uh, the original one. But if you're a jumper, I don't think you will care anyway, right? You're like me. Ah, almost LVC. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, I think it's uh, good enough. So I just discharge a little bit at home. That's it. It's just a test today anyway, so. Okay, everybody, now I'm back in the house. Yep, um, today is not really, really like a uh, crazy running radio like, like usual. Um, it's just test, right? It's just a test on my Max because, uh, uh, like I said, I would test my, uh, uh Max 8 ESC. 
uh, still trying to adjust it. Um, it's still not that right, but yeah, I hope I will get it right next time. But anyway, that's why I'm not jumping that high and crazy today. And uh, for the body, right? Today I have a surfer problem, and uh, probably four, three or four. And one of them is the body. It keep like it did pop out, right? Not all the time, but it did. What happened is, uh, I did patch my body up. You can see the hot glue on the outside, right, and on the inside too. That's a lot of uh, patching with the. Uh, um drywall tape right i don't know if you guys can see it's too bright right yeah so um that's why it keep popping out because what happened is especially this park uh it cracked all the way through right up to here up to this park here and uh it, it, you can open this up <laughs> yeah so uh, that's why i put hot glue on the outside like all the way down to there up to here too and the bottom, you can see all these uh, patching, right? Uh, and also, I did, I did it over here and right over here and uh, over here. So and over here at the back, you can see all this <laughs> hot glue with the drywall tape, right? That's why it keep popping up because the body, I mean the cover, is not uh, straight like uh, when it first came out, right? So that's why it pop, right? It keep popping because uh, it's not, well, uh, the spine is not like, yeah, you know, the spine and the board, like the cover have to pair up to a uh, hole onto the clip right so that's why right because my body is already beat up and yeah uh i'm not going to put my new one on until this one is gone because like i said i'm a jumper i i don't need my body to be uh perfect except that uh, as long i mean as long as it can uh protect my body right my my, my whole chuggy like whatever is inside yeah and today also i uh did pop the uh um uh, the turnicle out of the pin there's a pin uh, one on top one on the bottom on the c hub that hold on to the turnicle right uh it pop out right and it, it did pop out on this one and that one too i fixed them a uh, on spot right uh what happened is because i install this GPM aluminum pin holder at the front so it's uh, this one you can see right and the one at the back right so it make this part stronger but somehow the power cannot transfer on to the bow head so um, it did transfer to the C hub and also the turn knuckle that's why my turn knuckle pop out right and yeah, you can see <laughs> I have uh, four uh, GPM dry shaft back onto my truck too. <laughs> yeah, but today is not about the GPM. The GPM is fine now. <laughs> so way right over here, way right over here, I will show you guys. So the C hub is like this, top and bottom. So my arm is right over here and the other arm it will be right here, right? So what happened is when uh that's a uh, a lot of uh, power like uh force or something the arm will flex right flex or something i cannot flex uh, the arm right now of course i don't have that kind of string but uh, i will use the movement and tell you guys so when it flex right and the bottom one flex uh, down or up or about well, the top two right it this is plastic the C hub is still plastic on my chuggy, right? And when this flex, right? It's like a C, so it pull, it pull, right? It pull upward or downward, and the the hole, the hole is right here. The pin is right on top, right here, and come out a little bit like this on the top and the bottom. It come out like this, a little bit out like this to hold on to the uh, turnicle. And what happens is when this flex up and down, 
right? The bottom facts down, the top facts up. It will pull the pin upward right here and pull the pin downward here. So it disattach my turn knuckle right here, right? So that's what happened. So you guys probably say, what is the fix here, right? Uh, since I installed this uh, GPM uh, pin holder already, but I didn't install this. Uh, let me turn off the light so you guys can see it more clearly. I didn't install the GPM uh, C-Hub. <laughs> yep, that is the deal. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you guys probably say, why do you put this on at the beginning? Because... I, I want to try it with the plastic first to see what happened and now you can see what happened. And now you know, even myself, I need to put this GPM uh, aluminum C-hub on there now, right? Because uh, of the flex of the C-hub, right? So if you're going to buy a pin holder at the front, I don't know about the back, but the back is fine. I didn't do anything yet except the dry shaft, right? The uh, GPM dry shaft. So the front, I only did the front uh, for the pin holder. That's it. Because uh, the front, I always I always break the bow head, right? I want to see if this pin holder can uh, save my bow head, right? That's it, right? But today's drum, I don't think I will break my bow head. So <laughs> it's not uh, the test for today is not about the bow head, right? So it's not about the pin holder too, right? But the thing is, I find that out today, right? The, the C-Hub. So that means I have to install that uh, GPM uh, C-Hub on there too. So if you're going to buy this pin holder, you have to get the C-Hub too so everybody you have to understand if you buy this pin holder for this max you have to buy that aluminum c hub so that the pin i mean the uh turn knuckle will not pop out right because uh, the c hub is not strong enough to hold on to those pin to hold the uh turn knuckle right and also the third problem that i bump into today on this max is the um, balancing of the truck, right? What happened is my battery, you know, um, I have like uh, what I did use today is the uh, what HLB uh, 6000 milliamp hour battery, and that battery, like when you close the, the, the clip, it just fit in there. It just barely fit in there, right? Like I've been using that battery for a while and it just barely fit into it, right? So what happened is that battery, like that HLB is very heavy. Um, it's heavier on, uh, than that side, right? So um, it sit on the left hand side if you're talking about a American car, right? The is on the driver side right so um now my truck is pointing forward that way so the battery sit on this side and my electronic is on this side the electronic is very light on this side and my battery is heavy so what happened is my truck keep uh every time when it's on the air it keep like like drop like dropping on the air this way no matter if I'm pointing upward or downward, my truck is just all most of the time. It wanted to go like go down this way. Every time I if I have a big force, if I flip my truck and and then after I stop, like after I, I rotate and stop and when it come down, it just want to tilt it to one side. Tilt it to uh, this side. Right? So um I have this small chuggy right in my house, so I can tell you right. So my battery is on this side, on the driver side, right. So every time, like after my my chuggy, like my 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 max flip, and I stop it on the air, and every time it just want to turn, like every time when it drop, right after I stop it, it drop, it jo want to drop like. Like this, this side is dropping faster than the other side, my left hand side, right? So my chuggy like always do that, right? My max, something like this, the angle, 
and the ground is my table, right? How are you going to fix that? You're not going to turn this because if you turn your wheel and and pull forward, it will it will pull the truck backward like this. It will hit the ground like this for sure, right? So、uh, this is what I don't understand because my Max is heavy on the left side, on the left side with the battery, so it always like to land on the rear le- left rear wheel. So if it's that low, I I I cannot do it. But if I'm high up on the air, I can still rotate my chuggy and land, right? So、uh, yeah, if you are pro on jumping, um, can you just let me know? How are you going to control at that situation? Because <laughs> I really curious. I I I try I try to think about any way to re-control my truck every time when they land onto uh this wheel on one side like a chopping knife, right? It's chopping down on the side, on the back wheel, right? On the front is okay, like I said, right? So ah,、uh, this is one of the problem that I bump into that I I can I I still cannot find a solution of like controlling it like back like into two wheel and land on the ground or uh make the angle a little bit better and land on the ground. So ah,、uh, if you're pro, um, can you just let me know how you control at that situation? Because ah、uh, ah ah, I really have this problem with this max because the battery is on that side and it's heavy on left side. Right,、um, yeah, and also because I'm using a big wheel like this, right?、Uh, of course, I、uh, my turning radius is very very bad.、Uh, you can see、uh, first because of the Y Max. After you install the Y Max, you expect that your turning radius will be less on the ground, right?、Um, and also, I also have. This big tire, big heavy tire, and it make the、uh, the spring not doing that well. You can say right,、um, the spring tension is not as much because of the big tire, right? So,、uh, but I still want to keep this tire on here right now. I want, I don't want to use my pole line, right? Because、uh, I, I want to save that for the uh, uh, my uh, outcast roller right now, right? So、uh, that's why I'm not putting on that pole line、uh, backland on there, right?、Uh, but I will, I will see. I don't know. Maybe I use、uh, some kind of clip or something to make the spring tighter on the steering. Then, wow! Still, the Y Max will make it turn Y anyway. So I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. So that's one of the problem that I have today. The fourth problem, and that's it. And also the tire is、uh, making the chuggy、uh, tilted to one side too in the air, right? Like I said, the the rear, the left hand side rear tire, right, is、uh, chopping onto the ground on the on that wheel. So、uh, it's a it's also because of the big tire too, right? The rotation is、uh, massive when you have this kind of、uh, big tire, right? So that's why it,、um, it like to chop onto the ground on that side on that tire. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah,、uh, that one is up to those pro to just tell me how do they fix that problem every time when the. Chucky chop onto one side, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like chopping <laughs> onto that wheel. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. So that's all the problem that I have for this、uh, video. So for for today, you 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 guys are going to say, "Holy cow! This Max have so much problem. I'm not going to buy one." <laughs> But you guys have to understand. It's not the max, right? The max is fine. Everything is fine. It's perfect, right? It, it, it can handle whatever. The the only thing is, as you mop, right? As you mop your chuggy, it will have problem come out, right? So that's what happened to me. And it's not because of this max cannot handle whatever, right? Well, when you mop one thing, you have to take a look at it, right? I um, what is going? Going to go wrong, right? But you can see how many mob I have on this max right now, right? So each one of them might create a problem. That is why the max have a, a little bit problem nowadays. 
that is not a lot already with all this mob on there right now, right? And also, I I still have to adjust my ESC because it's not really right right now, right? I yeah. So for the weight, to me, the weight is all about tire and also the battery, right? So don't think that because of this. Uh, you, when you look at my video, I think that oh, this Max is not worth it to buy. No, it's worth it. Um, it depends what you're going to do with it, right? Um, if you're not a super high jumper, like you're going to jump like four, five story high and land, of course. The, uh, if you're going to jump like uh, a height of a person or a little bit higher, yeah, this Max would be fine for you. So. You guys, this truck is really not bad, right? But um, with the mob that I have, of course, I will have a little bit problem. Of course, I will solve some of the problem, right? And yeah, so that's it. That's it for today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, testing video. I know it's not really like super crazy uh, drum or run today. But it's just a test, right? Today, just a test on uh, testing my Max after I install the GPM pin holder, my uh, uh, Max XESC. I still have to adjust that, and I did uh, fix up my cover. You know, I, I did all that right last time, right? So, uh, I install the GPM drive shaft back on there, right? That's why I have I have to do this test, right? Like I don't want to break my max today too right because come on i still need to test it right i don't want to break it i don't want to run it crazy and jump crazy and then break my max and i cannot test it like last time last time i uh, broke the bow head and you can see my max haven't showed up on the video for a while <laughs> right i still have to test it right now right so i don't want to break it like last time and i cannot test it <laughs> right so okay yeah so that's it for today, for real. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy uh, today's video and see you guys on the next one. Bye now.